North Korean leader Kim Jong-un oversaw the Tuesday launch. State media says the spy satellite successfully reached orbit. Kim wants an array of spy satellites to monitor U.S. and allied troops in the region. But that will depend on the number and quality of images those satellites can produce. Earlier this year, South Korea's military recovered parts of a North Korean satellite that crashed into the sea. It said the device had no military utility. But that's debatable, says analyst Su Tianjian. I think that even a satellite with uh, rudimentary capabilities could still be a, a first step or modestly improve North Korea's situational awareness. Though the Tuesday launch was expected, it prompted alerts and even brief evacuation warnings in southern Japan. Prime Minister Fumio Kishida condemned the move. Even if the purpose is to launch a satellite, using ballistic missile technology is a clear violation of the relevant United Nations Security Council resolutions. It is also a very serious matter that greatly concerns the safety of our people. South Korean President Yoon suk yeol is on a state visit to Britain. In response to the launch, Yoon approved the partial suspension of an inter-Korean military agreement. The 2018 agreement was signed during a period of rare diplomacy between the two Koreas. That diplomacy was short-lived. North Korea soon resumed its military provocations, including major weapons tests. More launches are on the way, and from the South Korean side. Later this month, South Korea plans to launch its first domestically built spy satellite using a SpaceX rocket. Bill Gallo, VOA News, Seoul, South Korea.